Good morning, good evening, and welcome to World of Warships. My name is Robin, and today we are about to sail in the J9 German destroyer Z46. But first of all, thank you very much for tuning in the video. I really appreciate it, and I hope you will enjoy your time here. Again, today's video will be featuring two battles with this specific ship. One of which I won't be commenting live because it was supposed to be this week's Team Up Tuesday. So, without further ado, let's review the details of the ship we're about to sail in. The Z46 has six 128mm guns with a top range of 13.2 km, 19,900 points of health, 8 torpedoes with a top range of 10 km and a maximum speed of 39.4 knots. Her anti-air defense system is rated 50. Her detection range is 6.6 .6 km and the armor thickness is 19 mm. For the modules I've installed, we have Main Armament Modification 1 Aiming System Modification 1 Main Battery Modification 3 Propulsion Modules 1 and 2 and Concealment System Modification 1 For my commander, Preventative Maintenance, Last Stand, Superintendent and Basic and Advanced Firing Training. But that's enough of these descriptions, let's take the Z46 to battle. And here we are, on the map Shatter, Standard Battle. Not a game mode you see that often in high tier battles, but this could be an exception since the matchmaking smiled to us and put us up against tier 7. We have spawned on the southwest part of the map and we are steaming our way forward to fulfill our duty, spot enemy ships and deny their progressions with torpedoes. In my opinion, German destroyers have a very interesting playstyle. They stand as a mix in between gun and torpedo boats, and even if they do not excel in each domains, like the Japanese are for torpedoes or the Soviet are for artillery, they can still be very efficient at each. These destroyers are what we could define as jacks of all trades, but not so jacks in the end. Good speed, but nothing impressive. Decent HP pull, but no ability to sustain damage. Quite good concealment, considering their size, but everything else is about average. You have the worst smoke out of any destroyer lines, forcing you to use it with caution and most of the time as a countermeasure. Alright, okay, I am not really defining them as good destroyers, sorry, but it's not what I meant. They are good, good at everything and nothing at the same time, if you catch my drift. One thing that makes them stand out, of course, is the hydroacoustic consumable, but it is so situational that you rarely get the upper hand thanks to that specific consumable in most situations. That aside, we already have a couple of contacts in the area already. Enemy Shanholz and North Carolina are pushing this flank actively. Two battleships progressing like this is always a sign that at least one enemy destroyer is escorting them. More often than not, destroyer captains will try to close in on battleships for a torpedo strike and get surprised by an enemy destroyer, ruining their plan and putting them in a bad spot. Especially that early in the game, the first engagements you will get as a destroyer, of course, will very most likely be against another destroyer. I've sent my torpedoes against the Scharnholst in case he maintains that course, but I should have held on to them for the enemy Edinburgh that just smoked up in front of me when I detected her. I am closing in fast on the enemies. I could try to set up an ambush near these islands, but like I said, I need to keep my eyes peeled for enemy destroyers, and that's exactly what I'm not doing right now. I inspected my minimap just in time to realize I was spotting the enemy Mayhem, and I was about to get bursted too. I cut the speed and laid down my smoke, immediately engaging the American destroyer. Three of my torpedoes made contact though, pretty good. I still don't know on which target, but for now I am focusing the Mayhem. AP is loaded, I'm trying to hit the engine, but so far only over penetrations, so I switch back to HE right before the Mayhan lays down in smoke and we secure the first kill. 
Enemy Shapayev was the one I hit with torpedoes. We almost erased him, by the way. He is only 3000 HP, that's pretty good. The Shapayev and his radar are my most immediate threat. So I decide to engage and reveal myself, see if I can secure the kill with a quick gun and run. But my shells land short and friendlies take the kill. Damn it, I ruined my concealment for nothing, and now I am a priority target for most of the enemy ships in the area. Well, might as well go guns free and flee the area before anything bad happens. Well, <laughs> something bad actually happened. Enemy Lo Yang is also in the area and engaging my ship. I take a big hit, might be from the North Carolina, and now might be a good time to hold off fire and try to reconcile as fast as we can. We might have overextended, and since the enemy battleships on this side knows I'm here, I will have a hard time to set up proper torpedo strikes on them now. And ouch, <laughs> Scharnhorst lands a good hit on me too. Okay, I get it, I am out. I am out and I will definitely switch flank now, or at least try to focus my efforts towards another area. And hey, a torpedo made contact straight into the Scharnhorst butt. That's payback here, mate. That is what you get. Now, I kinda wanna try to find the Edinburgh again. Last time I saw her, she immediately smoked up when detected. If she does it again, I will have torpedoes for her. So I'm making my way down her last known position. So far, our team is doing mighty fine. Three enemy ships down and so far no casualties for us. Most of our forces are bunched up on the western flank, but we have some friendly destroyers inside our zone, so I'm not too worried about a flank as of right now. Enemy Scharnhorst is moving back towards us. He could still be a potential target for my torpedoes, but I'm going to detect an enemy Izumo instead. He is defending the enemy base, but he is closing in on us and could potentially maintain that specific course. Ah, dilemma, dilemma. Do I go for the Scharnhorst? Do I target the Izumo? I decide to go for the Japanese battleship. He is the biggest firepower over here, and if we can cripple him, it will be good for the team. And I am being all sneaky sneaky here. <laughs> I'm trying to get close, using the cover of the island in front of me to set up yet another ambush and try to compensate for the failed one earlier on. If I can try and put pressure on their base, all while remaining concealed, I can create a good enough diversion for my friendlies in the back to progress. As a destroyer captain, you do not realize the impact you can have on a game by just keeping the target spotted and denying areas with torpedoes. A ship that will try to dodge your salvo might find himself broadsided in the process, giving an opportunity to your allies. Even if your torpedo miss, they will act on the overall formations of the enemies and destabilize their position. And we do hit a torpedo. Not on the Izumo, nor the Scharnhorst. Hmm, we might have a third ship in the area and I wonder what it is. Unfortunately, I did not pay enough attention to my position and we got spotted by the Scharnhorst. We are busted and the Izumo is going to turn away. We laid down our smoke in a panic move, <laughs> not really smart as well since we are going to immediately get spotted by Hydroacoustic. Well, let me return the favor and activate mine and hello, enemy Edinburgh was the third ship we hit a torpedo on. She is on the hunt for me definitely and things are about to get rough. Although at that range we both are an equal threat to each other. AP is loaded and I can definitely hit the British cruiser hard if she gives me her broadside. That is exactly what she did and in a matter of seconds we trade very good damage to each other. 3 salvos, 2 citadels and about 15,000 points of damage. We've been hit hard throughout these engagements and my health is reaching the red zone. No more mistakes for me, otherwise we will go down for sure. I do need to evade this area though. I cannot maintain my course, otherwise I risk running into the Edinburgh again. So I decide to try and plan an escape route through the islands on my right. 
I'm going to run into the friendly Kagero. Chaotic retreat is chaotic, but on second thought, I believe I can take the British cruiser out if she decides to push me. With an off angle, her shells are not such a massive threat to me, and since most of my firepower is at my stern, I can make it work, and I do make it work. Edinburgh picks the island, but we land a citadel for the kill shot. Whew, tense, but that is what I love about this game. Especially this type of brawl, when you take advantage of the cover around you to outsmart the enemies and protect yourself in the process. That is our second kill of the game, but now things needs to go at a different pace. 4000 HP, one good salvo from a cruiser or a battleship, and we can say goodbye. Honestly, there is one thing that I should tell myself more often. As a destroyer, you should always play like you have low HP. In these situations, your attention doubles, you're being more cautious and think twice about making a move. And it is in this kind of scenarios that you actually play your destroyer the most efficient way. Of course, I'm not talking about running away at the end of the map and smoking up, nor I'm talking about Soviet destroyer's playstyle, but I'm sure you understand what I want to point out. Although our hand is about to be forced, enemy Scharnhorst is rushing through the center, and that is a huge problem. He is contesting my only escape route, I have no choice but to go through him, and we are about to go through him like a door. My first torpedo volley was just a warning, but Scharnhorst is still pushing. He does have a chance of taking me out, but he better do it fast and uh, hold on here. Well, okay, Scharnhorst was completely oblivious of my position. Her guns were turned everywhere but on me, and well, our torpedoes are going to connect and take out the German battlecruiser in a devastating strike. Again, pretty intense, but we got lucky on that one, I'll admit. In the meantime, the enemies got pretty busy trying to keep up on the kill counter. Not like they are making a comeback, but they are definitely pulling up a fight. Our team is getting dangerously close to the enemy cap, and I decide to go ahead and join them for the final push. All flanks are secured, and the enemy's last stand will happen here. Both remaining Scharnhorsts and the Izumo fell back to the very edge of the map, and even if we do not have a bead on the enemy Benson, my biggest threat now, I'm pretty sure he will be lurking in the area as well. We still have a battleship close to our base, so he cannot flank us that easily if he decides to go for it. Plus, the base is not contested, so I should be safe from now. Although I am out of smokes, I cannot conceal myself on demand anymore, so I need to be extra careful not to overextend. Torpedoes are reloaded and enemy Izumo turned back from the A-line and is closing in again. Torpedoes in the water and now I am just scanning for the Benson. Two minutes until we've captured the objective. No way the American destroyer will just sit this one out and stay passive. Well, so far, I think we have done pretty good. We traveled a good deal as well, starting from the center south, making our way west, switching to the center and now north inside the enemy base. We kept on the move, dynamically switching positions, trying to remain unexpected, and it worked out okay so far. Every torpedo salvos we launched hit at least once, and that's pretty rare in my books. And even if we took a beating, we emerged victorious from all our engagements. <laughs> One torpedo hit on the Izumo, granting us the high caliber achievement. And now it's just a matter of finishing this. I requested the Tashkent to smoke up, which he did, thankfully. That is going to allow me to open fire on the Izumo. He used his damage control cooldown to put out the flood for my torpedoes and we set him on fire right after. Izumo is doomed and friendly secures the kill. Now for the Scharnhorst. As for myself, I am still on the hunt for more kills. <laughs> you know me, the greed sometimes makes me do stupid things, but it has been a great game so far, let's try to make it even better. We get lucky with the fires. Scharnhorst is trying to play the objective and contest the capture zone. 
I really appreciate when players don't give up and fight until the last shot. And that is exactly what the Shanholz did. We managed to set multiple fires on him and the battlecruiser is going to burn down, securing a fourth kill of the battle. And I was an idiot. I don't know why my thing slipped on the Z key, but my ship left the cap, resetting it right when we were about to secure it. I told you, the greed made me do stupid things. Watching this back, I realized I did not even try to get back inside the enemy base until I realized that the Benson was indeed in the area. I was right, he was lurking around the objective and was trying to engage my ship from a good distance, revealing himself. I reconciled though, and I am going after him for sure. My torpedoes are almost loaded, and since I cannot really take on the Benson in a gunfight, considering my health, I will try and send my torpedoes his way. Although Benson is going to give me the advantage without knowing it. He just smoked up to cover his position. That is going to render him more or less blind, at least to me, and allow me to close up the distance and use my situational advantage, which is my hydroacoustic search. I've acknowledged my plan to my team and friendly Tashkent is backing me up. Even though it is a risky plan, if the enemy Benson is still inside a smoke, it should not be a problem. Although the base is not contested, so there is a high chance that the Benson just uses smoke as a countermeasure. And yes, he did, he actually did. I spot him on my left, AP is loaded and I am going to engage. I know that the Tashkent is behind me and the both of us should be able to take him out, even if I'm risking my ship a great deal doing so. But his smoke is in front of me, I should be able to reach it before he can react. We land pretty good hits with our AP, smoothing the target down, but since he's giving angle, I switch back to HE. Benson is returning fire, but his shell velocity is low enough for me to try and dodge more or less efficiently. He still hit us a couple of times, but we reconcile behind the smoke. Our rate of fire is quite impressive though, and we are chewing through his health quite fast. A couple more salvos and we are going to get the final hit, earning Kraken Unleashed and securing the victory. Over a hundred and seventy thousand points of damage dealt, 10,000 XP earned and 440,000 credits gained. We achieved Confederate, First Blood, Kraken Unleashed, Devastating Strike and High Caliber. Very fun and rewarding game with the Z46. Considering the fact that we were top tier in this game, I believe that it did give us the advantage in most of our engagements, for sure, but we still managed to pull our weight and most of all play our role. Again, I still strongly believe that German destroyers are jacks of all trade, considering what we managed to achieve. Citadels, fires, incapacitation, this cobalt could very well be a cruiser one. And even if luck was a relatively strong factor in this specific run, I believe we still did pretty good. But bear with me, we still have one battle to go with the Z46, although I won't be with you for that one. I mean, I won't be commenting it, but I'll be around for the end. I hope that so far you are having fun, and I'll see you in a moment. Okay. I will push between B and C, and I can radar both. I'll roger that. I'm just gonna try and capture B. I have defensive. I'm just going Fire to try on this. <laughs> yeah, you stop right on my side. You want me to give you a shot? A little, a little boost, no yeah. No I appreciate there you go. Now you're moving. What? What did you do? <laughs> uh, it was just a back turret. Relax, man. You have a, half of your life yet. Stuck oh, flesh on the way, enemy. How does he know? By the way, you're burning. <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. You're already 15,000 HP. Philip, you motherfucker. Why have you done that? Oh boy, you're gonna you're gonna burn yeah, so. Guys, very funny. Very funny. Yeah, 
flesh is gonna burn, that's for sure. Why did, sh why did him kill Shaw? Because he's inside our division, mate, that's why. There's a guy complaining that we just shot you. <laughs> Philip, what the hell? That, that's me, I'm a yeah, friend no. of my friends. Uh, how'd you yeah. stick inside B in no time? There's a Yukumon Kiev pushing it as well, so... You want me to radar before you use yours? 6.6? .6? I don't have considered an expert on that baby boy. Nope, I do not. No, 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 it's okay. I should be fine, hopefully. I'm just gonna cut the speed right there. Yeah, we're capturing it. C, on the other hand. That Yugumon needs to go C. Are you still... I can radar to see what is... Go right ahead. Died. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mother load. <laughs> Mother load. <laughs> Alright, well, at least I know it's free on this side. I'm just gonna flank them from this yeah, other side. Looks like they are all pushing C. Whoa, that's impressive. Let's see if I can push them a little bit, start aping the York out. It's a Fletcher, two Fletchers, you, you Gumo. And I yeah. entered the game. Oh, I'm still full health. It's about to get wrecked. It's about to get rough for sure. Ah, uh, three FPS. Nice. <coughs> Hi, York. Yeah. Oh, random torps. Random torps. Come on, Otago. I just want to spot them up. Uh, I'm seeing the sky away. Oh. That's a fire for you. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna. F oh, there's a shiny host here, though. Should I flank or? Hmm. Oh, he's trying to shoot me. Take out. No, there's an island there, mate. Okay, deactivate your anti air. See if I can keep him spotted for you. Well. Now oh, he's burning down. I'm here. <laughs> I have torps. Yes, I have. Uh, and they are 8 on uh, 8. Ooh, eight clips. Damn, son. That was pretty rough, I gotta say. Oh, goodbye. That's one less. Radar in 30 seconds. Yeah, it's okay. I have my I have the landing right in, in my position. Oh, 4,000 on you. AP is no joke on this ship. You have yes, turn, turn, turn more. I got him, I got him, I got him. Okay. And that's two. Time to hold ass now. For some reason, I'm not shooting. It's just a Fletcher here. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a go and rush him. Uh, torpedo beams. You light him up. I'll just uh, focus fire him. Why aren't I firing? See if I can uh, spot him up. Although, it might be trouble. Are you sure it's only the Fletcher here? <coughs> just a Fletcher. Oh, I, just, I have it. I, I have an Otago behind me. I just radar, so. There he is. Ah. Yeah, I'm trying, mate. Lighting me up hard. How about now? Oh. How about what? Oh, the Sharnors just appeared between the islands and shot the guy. Oh, there's a f I got lit up. Holy crap. Damn, my team is fine without me. Where's the Atago? Oh, he's inside <coughs> the. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna top this entire area. This is not usual.
Don't beat yourself. Oh hey, a tiger. Damn, the flesh was no fucking joke. No. No joke. Short distance, Fletcher. Yeah, no joke. The guns are. Oh, where are you, Atago? How come I'm not getting any d defense ribbon? Oh, maybe the uh, he's not alone here. We got the log in a room flanking us from the styles here. Be advised. Copy that. Moving to intercept. With the log. <laughs> okay, Prince. Let me smoke you up real quick. He's going crazy. Oh boy, this torpedo is there on the other hand. Is that your radar here, mate? Uh, you want? No, it's good. I mean, it's the hydroacoustic from the. Uh... I burned the so Oh my dear god! He's gonna push me inside a torpedo. Watch it. Come on now. Wow. This AP is no joke. Oh, what? No, 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 Come on, turn guns, turn guns for Christ's sake. I got it. Well, that was rough. Just sit a rune in here, be careful. See if I can hide our up real fast. Oh, I destroyed your torps. Sorry, sorry, Sharni, yours. Where's the rune? Wow, well, one good salvo from that rune, and I'm <coughs> done for. Yeah, f***ing amazing. Need help? Oh, she's dead. Goodbye, rune. <laughs> what? Hold on, no devastating strike on that. Okay. Or maybe because the hood light her up a little bit before. I really like yeah. the German cruise. Uh, oh, hello torpedoes. That's from the Genesa now. It's cool. Where's the Genesa now anyway? Yeah. I really like I really like the German DDs, honestly. They are pretty powerful, I'm gonna say. 34 seconds on my next torpedoes, I might be able to get the North Gate. Come on, 29. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a rough angle. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to get it. Torpedoes away. Machinen boost deactiviert. Mm, I don't know if these torps are gonna look good on her though. Ah, oh, maybe. Can't really tell. Can't really tell. Oh, I think no, the, the, the North is dead. If she if she doesn't get killed before my torpedoes arrive, she's dead. Please, Shanholz, 
Limited Kraken. Oh yeah, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving this ship so far. Loving these ships. GG. I had to radar to the Fiji inside the smoke because it was sporting. Ah, uh, loving! Like, this entire week was absolutely mental for the amount of footage I had. Four channels games worth sharing, two Konigsberg, a Tirpitz, a Z52, a Kerfest, a Kerfest and this one. Like, that's eight, that's nine videos in one week. <laughs> And I paid hard, hard, how, hard. How did you pay? Yeah, I paid. Wow. I paid 117,000. Oh, wow. And I did damage, I did fires, I capped. <laughs> Your radar at the beginning though was pretty... <laughs> like, whoa! <laughs> well, at least we what? knew B was clean. Oh yeah, jeez. Like, <laughs> it was a pretty good... Uh... Was a DD party at sea. Well, people, that is it for this video. I hope that you did not mind the Team Up Tuesday and live reactions merged into a standard replay content, but I thought it was the occasion to mix up things a little. I also hope that you enjoyed your time here, and if you did, and you're a kind heart, give a like to the video. And stay tuned! Like always, there is more content to come about World of Warships. Before I go though, I would like to thank you so much for the feedback you have been giving me on the previous video. Until next time people, have a good one and take it easy.